Hi everyone, welcome to the French naval base of Brest in Brittany. Today we're taking a deep dive into the SLAM F program. SLAM F is the next generation mine countermeasure program for the French Navy. Commander Drier de la Forte, good morning. Good morning, sir. You are the commander of the uh, mine uh, countermeasure flotilla in the French Navy. Uh, thank you for welcoming us uh, at the French naval base of uh, Brest. So, uh, first and foremost, what is the SLAM F program? It's a pleasure to welcome you in Brest. Uh, SLAM F program stands for uh, replacing all the mine warfare capabilities made of mine hunters with uh, unmanned assets either with uh, unmanned surface assets and unmanned underwater vehicle. Thanks to the SLAMF system, we will be able to extend our operational capabilities from zero to 300 meters, and we'll be able to face all the uh, modern mines uh, that appeared a few years ago. The program calls uh, for the procurement of uh, not only unmanned systems, so mission package, uh, but also motor ships and uh, diving support vessels. Uh, can you please outline the details for us? Yes, yeah, so the program stands for the world transformation of the mine warfare. So with first eight mission package made of USVs and UVs, five diving support vessels and six motor ships that will be able to carry and operate uh, the mission package. Regarding the USVs, uh, which uh, uncrewed system will they deploy? So each USV, USV can deploy uh, both um, towed array sonar and a remoted operated vehicle. So first the towed array sonar uh, provide the detection and the classification of the echoes on the bottom. And Thanks to the ROV, we will be able to operate the identification and, if request, the uh, countermining of, uh, uh, of a mine threat. And the main advantage of this is, of course, uh, that uh, you now keep the sailors outside of the minefield uh, compared to the uh, legacy way of conducting uh, mine warfare with uh, mine sweeping vessels that used to go inside the, the minefield. Yes, with that kind of system, we are not compelled anymore to keep the man the, the man in the minefield, and uh, we will be able to operate from uh, several nautical miles from the minefield. Uh, Commander, uh, the SLAMF program is a cooperation with the British uh, Royal Navy. Uh, so uh, both navies will be using some of uh, the same systems. Operationally, will there be some uh, more cooperation between the Royal Navy and the Marine National? There, there will always be uh, um, some cooperation with the with British Navy. Thanks to these uh, years, uh, we work together to improve the capacities of the USVs. And uh, now there are a lot of jobs to do about the procedures, the way we can work and inter, uh, with interoperability on the, uh, on, the, um, on the operational areas. Commander, uh, your flotilla will be the first uh, French Navy unit to uh, deploy USVs and UUVs. Uh, you are like pioneers in the field. Uh, how challenging is that? Uh, yes, in fact, uh, the Mine Warfare Flotilla will be the first uh, operational unit in France using uh, uh, operating um, unmanned assets as well as uh, surface unmanned assets and underwater unmanned assets. Uh, we are kind of pioneers, you're right. It's a challenge in, in many ways. Uh, first, uh, being able to perform navigation uh, within the commercial, the fishermen, and uh, the, the, uh, the other users are, are, are on the waters. And the second part is uh, how to optimize the use of the unmanned system uh, for uh, mine warfare in a different way that we were using the uh, mine hunters. Commander, you are procuring uh, so new unmanned systems. Uh, this means you need new shore infrastructures to accommodate them. Yes, uh, these shore infrastructures will should be delivered to the mine warfare flotilla within the next week, and uh, they are dedicated to uh, uh, be able to perform the um, support of the French deterrence. Uh, thanks to these infrastructures we must be able to conduct our operation to uh, perform uh, the logistic support 
and uh, to get the uh, USVs steady uh, uh, for the French deterrence uh, in, the, in, the, in the whole area. Commander, we are now stepping inside your brand new ops room. Uh, yes, uh, the ops room should be uh, delivered soon uh, to the French Navy and uh, uh, it, will be, uh, it will enable us to conduct uh, the operation in the support of the French deterrence with a two mission package. Each room is able to conduct two, U two USVs and uh, two UVs uh, to uh, perform the, the, uh, the update of the situation and to broadcast this situation uh, uh, among, the, among the force. So we've got uh, uh, five uh, operator station. Uh, the two first uh, are dedicated to the USV with uh, its payload. Uh, the second one uh, works exactly the same. So uh, the navigation operator works with the payload operator to uh, conduct the TSAM or the RV. And uh, the, the fifth one is dedicated to uh, UV's exploitation. Lastly, Commander, uh, you're introducing the brand new EPOC system uh, to us and this will great, greatly uh, help your uh, operators for uh, expeditionary uh, mine warfare. Yes, uh, the expedition EPOC has been uh, designed to uh, respond to a, a specific need a request for, from the French Navy to enhance our capacity for um, uh, expeditionary uh, MCM operation. Uh, it has been uh, recently deployed uh, in a Dacia exercise, a NATO exercise in uh, Romania, and uh, he provided uh, a, a very powerful support to the, 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 the operational team to perform the conduct of the mission and uh, the, the, the exploitation of the uh, sonar data. Lastly, Commander, uh, when will you uh, take delivery of uh, the entire uh, system, all the systems for the SLAMF program and uh, when are you expecting to reach uh, initial operational capability? So, uh, the delivery of the operational system is, uh, um, is, is planned very, uh, in very few days, so we, we, uh, we are um, eager to receive the, the, the new system and to perform the first initial capacities uh, deployment. When are you expecting to reach uh, initial operational capability? So the initial operational capa capabilities uh, will uh, start at the delivery and uh, I hope we'll, within one year we'll be able to reach our first operational capabilities. Very well, Commander. Thank you so much for your warm welcome uh, in your flotilla and for uh, introducing the SLAMF program uh, to us. It's uh, very interesting and it's the next uh, generation. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much.